Okay, so tonight I'm going to show you guys how to do salmon patties. And this is going to take a while. Um, so I went ahead and put my oil on, it's just vegetable oil, on low while I'm showing you this. Um, I use canned salmon, um, the Alaskan canned salmon because it's, you know, the best. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and open the can. And what you're going to do is you're going to drain the juice off of it using the lid. And I'll do that and you won't see that really. Um, but I'm going to keep the can and I'll show you why. Let's see, I got that off of it. Okay. And what happens is, is there's like oil and stuff and I'll show you that. Hold on. Let me show you. Okay. See that? It's like oil and water. And you kind of want to drain that off. Okay oil and water on top. You use the lid and just put your finger down on top and drain off that oil and that water because, you know, you just don't want that. I mean, your salmon patties here. But I'm going to show you these salmon patties and while I'm uh, taking apart the salmon out of the can because there is still like skin, a little skin, a little bones, even if you buy the can there's still a little skin, there's still a little bone in it, and you just don't want that in your salmon patties. It comes out just like that, okay? And like I said, I'm going to keep the can. Oh. I'm going to keep the can right over there like that. And what you're going to do is, this stuff right here, it's dark in color, almost black. It's just skin, okay? And you just want to take that out. I don't ever use it. My grandmother, my mother never used it. Um, you just want to take that out. Okay? It's just skin is all it is. Okay? Don't get freaked out. Just skin. But you really kind of don't want that. And see, there's a bone. Okay? You got to be very careful because there are bones still in it. And you don't want that, see, in your salmon patties. So... You gotta carefully kind of sift through it, and it's gonna start to fall apart on you a little bit, okay? Or you can separate it like this, half, okay? Like that. All right, some of it's gonna fall, but the dark, the skin, I don't use that part. If you want to use that part, you go right ahead. Feel free to, but I just pick it apart. And I don't use it. To me, it makes it taste better if you don't use it. You just kind of scrape it off, just like that. And some bones come with it. That's fine. It's very messy to make salmon patties. But it's just something that my mom did, my grandmother did. Um, and how it all got started, I'll, I'll tell you that while I'm picking this apart. Because you kind of just want to pick through it and make sure you get all the bones and all of the stuff separated from the fish. Because you just want the fish. You don't want the bones in your salmon patty. See, like that's a bone. I don't know if you can see really that good on my camera, but I'm just going to like squish it like this. And you see the bones kind of pop out. And this is like a southern dish that a lot of southern people do um and where it kind of originated from was my grandmother told me this story and i believe she's right so if you guys know better or more feel free to tell me but i'll tell you what i know what she told me was um i'm gonna wash my hand just a little because it gets messy Anyway, what she told me was, in the South, we did not have crab readily available, but we had salmon, and they were trying to duplicate something like crab cakes, but they started using what they had readily available, and it just sort of caught on as salmon patties, okay, and you just want to sift through that meat. And make sure there's no bones because you might miss them. The bones are really thin. Okay. Like I said, this takes a while to do. So, it's going to be kind of a long video, guys. 
but here's some more bones in the bowl. But that's why I keep the can. Here's some more, a whole bunch of bones. See that? I don't know if you can see that, but there's like bone. And you got to pick them out, or else they will get into your salmon patties, and that won't be good. You kind of want to get those out. It's kind of a a process to do it, but I promise you it's worth it and they're good, okay? If you like fish, you like salmon, then um, it'll be worth it to you. Okay. See, there's a little bone right there on my finger. It's terrible. Okay. There's a lot of bones in salmon. You have to kind of get those out. There's some more skin and dark parts. I don't use that. You can. There's nothing wrong with it. I think it just tastes better without it. See, here's another little bone. Okay. Now, see, you just kind of want to separate the meat. Make sure there's no bones in it. Okay. Now, we're going to work on this part. See, I missed some. It's okay to eat it if you want to, but I, I just prefer not to. I prefer to kind of clean it myself and, you know, take that part out and take the bone and stuff out. To me, it makes your salmon patties taste a little better. Okay. Okay. See, we still got some skin coming off here. So yeah, that's that's where it originally started from, to the best of my knowledge. They were trying to duplicate, like, the crab cakes from, like, New England and places like that, but they didn't have, you know, crab readily available, so they started doing salmon patties. Okay. And it's good. It's a good southern um, dish. If you have the time and to invest in picking out all the bones and such. Okay. This is not like a quick meal that you can just throw together. It's something that takes a little bit of time. And you got to be careful while doing it. Okay, I'm going to rinse my hand a bit because it's starting to stick to me. Okay. See, that has a little bit of skin and stuff. And I just don't like the skin. I just don't prefer it. So, I try to pick as much of it out as I can. Okay, see, you want to kind of go through this meat. And see if the bones, if you feel the, you can feel the bones. They're like very thin and very spiny. You can kind of feel them as you squish it. And you can take them out. There's some more skin. Okay. Now, if you know an easier way to do it, then feel free to suggest it to me. I'd love to hear it. But this is just the way we've always done it around our house. You see, there's some more bone there. Thin and spiny bone. you got to make sure you kind of take those out. Especially if you're feeding it to, to kids. My kids like salmon patties. I don't know if your kids would like salmon patties, but... See, there's some bone right there. Okay. Okay, now... That skin just slides right off. It's kind of... kind of just don't want that. At least I don't. Okay. And this video is probably going to be a little long. And it's probably going to be a couple of, you know, a couple of parts of videos put together. Because I'll show you how to fry it here in a minute after I get it all prepared. But you have to prepare it first. Before you can start with the rest. 
It's something that you kind of have to go through and prepare it. You just kind of want to feel through the meat and see if you're getting all the bone out. It's a little messy here. But this is why I keep the can. Try to get everything out. Okay, so there you go. So that there's just salmon. There's not a whole bunch of bone or skin or any of that. Okay, and you want to kind of shred it up. That way you kind of, you know that you're getting the bones out. Okay. Okay, let me rinse my hands, wash my hands. Okay, I like to go through it with a fork and just kind of feel around with that fork and look in it and make sure all the bones, all the skin, all the everything is out that way. And you can see them, you can see the little bones, they're kind of spiny and you can see them. I promise you'll be able to see them. Uh, you just got to make sure that you get them all out before you start with your salmon patties here. Okay, I still have my oil on low heat. Okay, I'm going to turn it up to medium heat because they'll be ready in just a few seconds. Okay, just a little salt and a little pepper. Um, just do it right on your salmon. Okay, and then you want to take an egg, okay, just one egg, and I kind of scramble it. It's going to wet that salmon for you, and it's going to bond it together for you so that you can make the salmon patty. That's why we use the egg, okay, and I'm going to pour it like all around that way the egg gets in there to all of it okay just do it like that and then I'm going to take like a half a cup of flour now it doesn't matter what kind of flour you use for this whatever kind of flour you have is perfect salmon patties are not picky bake if you're baking something it matters what kind of flour you're using but when you're when you're doing like salmon patties it doesn't really matter but I'm just going to take like okay that's a half a cup of flour, all right? And you kind of just go around like that, pour it all in, okay? And you can do this part with your hands if you want, or you can kind of do it with a fork if you want. doesn't matter. doesn't really matter, but you want that flour to kind of get in there in between the salmon because it's going to help bond it together when you make them into patties, okay? Okay, my fork is no longer useful at this point. Okay, it's going to help kind of bond it together. And what you want to do, you just kind of want to just kind of get in there. Okay, I like to make them a little thin so that they fry a little better. Okay, but you just want to patty them out just like that. I need just a little more flour because it's sticking to my hands. Okay. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, guy. I just need a little more flour in here. It doesn't matter. We can pour it right on here because it's just sticking to my hands. It's just wet. I would have had, you know, more prepared, but sorry about that. You kind of just want to not let it stick to your hand. Okay. It's going to make like a crust. Kind of like a crab cake a little bit. But it's the salmon patty so it's a little different. And you just want to drop them down in the oil. Kind of sink them down in the oil. And it's going to fry up quite nicely. And it's going to make like a little crust on it. Um, I need that flour. Okay. And one can of salmon will make like... I want to say it makes like five or six salmon patties, if I'm not mistaken, but it's been a while since I did this, so I'll let you know at the end of the video how many it really makes.
but you're just patting them up just like that. You want a little more flour on your hands so it's not so sticky. Here, let's see if I can get a little more of that flour. But I fly, I fry them like um, two or three at a time, and they usually they float. Um, you want enough vegetable oil in the pan so that they do float because you don't want them sticking to the bottom. Um, maybe once you start frying them, I want to say it's like, depending on how big you make them, I want to say it's like four to five minutes on each side. Maybe a little less. This is kind of sticky. It's going to be kind of a small one. Okay, just so I can get my hands clean. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, show you guys how many salmon patties I'm making out of this can. If you make them smaller, you could probably get more out of it. Um, I like to make them a little bit bigger. Um, but I think there's going to wind up with six salmon patties. So for a family of four, that's pretty good. Um, if you need to double the recipe, or you can make the salmon patty smaller, that's up to you. Um, I got a little more flour going on here, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's up to you. You want to make them smaller, or do you, if you want to um, make them this size. There's like six, I, I want to say six that come out of this one can. Or you can just simply double the recipe by putting another can with it. Um, that's it. Okay, and this is what they look like when they're frying. I told you they'll float just a little bit. And you want to be careful when you flip them. Because you don't want to break them apart when you flip them. I use two forks just like that. Okay. You don't want to break them apart when you flip them because they will come apart on you very easily. But you want to fry them until they're almost like a golden brown or a little more. Um, and they have a little bit of a crust to them. Here's what I do when I, when I take them out of the frying pan and put them on a plate. I just take paper towels and put them on top of a plate and put them right on there and that drains a little bit of the the oil off of them so that way you're not eating oily salmon patties you know um, and they taste a lot better but you can make probably I want to say five or six of these out of one can and it's really it's a good little meal you can pair it with whatever you want um, I, I'm tonight my grandmother used to do uh, a salmon patty and a hoe cake and if you don't know what a hoe cake is, I'm, I'm going to do that video, I promise. You'll see the hoe cakes. But she used to put a hoe cake on the bottom, a salmon patty in between, and a slice of um, fried green tomato on top. And just kind of slice it on her plate and eat it just like that. Um, that's like an old way of doing it. You don't have to do that. You can pair it with a meal. Like I'm doing tonight, I'm doing macaroni and cheese. Um, I'm doing black eyed peas. And I'll do the hoe cakes here in a few minutes. And then that'll be a separate video that you can find out what a hoe cake is if you don't know already. Um, but these are almost done. These are turning out quite good. I'm going to just kind of flip them over and see. But you want them to have kind of like a crust to them. I'm going to let that cook another minute. So probably six minutes on each side. So we'll edit that part where... I said five minutes. We'll we'll cut it to six minutes. Oh, some some people um, some people might say that I'm wrong for doing salmon patties this way. Some people m like to do cornmeal um, instead of flour. You can do it that way if you'd like, or you can mix cornmeal and flour. I've seen it done all three ways. Um, I just prefer this because it has a nicer crust. I prefer just the flour. And like I said, it doesn't matter what kind of flour you use. Whatever you have in the cupboard, that's fine. Um, but it's up to you. If you want to do cornmeal, that's another great way to do it. If you want to do just flour, that's another great way to do it. But they don't really, um, they don't really like get 
all that much more brown than this when they're done. So this is basically the finished product. Maybe if I turn it up a little higher, they cook a little faster, but may I say six minutes on each side and you'll be good to go. Um, that's it, basically. That's salmon patties. Um, if you like this video, then click like. If you want to subscribe, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, if you want to just leave a comment, leave me a comment. Um, if you want to, you can find us on Facebook. Uh, at What's for Dinner Night on Facebook. If you're already subscribed, then you can go ahead and share my video if you want to share it with someone you know. Alright, thank you.